Day 85 of promoting hair growth using this mild rosemary and mint scalp oil. Using the scalp care brush, I have it linked on my Amazon storefront. I'm going to stimulate my scalp area to use the oil. This is a picture of my hair the first month that I started my hair growth journey. And this is my hair today on day 85. The focus of my hair growth journey has not been about length, but it has been about filling up my scalp area because I feel very limited to hairstyles. Now, I've mentioned to you guys several times that I'm making a switch over to a different oil after using the Myel Rosemary Mint Scalp Oil for 90 days. So once I make the switch, I do plan to give myself a haircut and start all over again and kind of track the progress of my length. And also, I'm going to be taking a lot more before and after pictures of my scalp. Red light therapy is something new that I just started to incorporate into my routine. This is actually a skincare wand from Sola Wave. And I apply it to my scalp. It does vibrate. And I do go a little bit more into detail about red light therapy on my day 80 update. And I've been taking my vitamin D3 on a daily basis. And I just started to incorporate biotin. This hair routine that you're seeing is the first thing I do in the morning. And I leave the oil in my hair through my gym session so about two hours i come home and i wash my hair with this shampoo it's infused with coffee ginger onion cloves rosemary to promote hair growth i also use this shampoo from the same brand sangre de grado mexico this is also infused with rosemary to help stimulate hair growth i really love this olaplex number no. six bond smoother if you have really dry hair from using heat tools or you've been bleaching your hair you're gonna want to try this it helps build the bonds back it's curl enhancing i just love how it emphasizes my natural waves i do a little cocktail with this pacifica beauty coconut milk detangler i don't want to be pulling at my roots so it, this just helps the brushing be so much easier now i am due for some derma stamping this one here i'm using the one millimeter length of the needle i'm spraying it down with some alcohol to disinfect it with this particular derma stamp you can change the needle size to 0.5 millimeters one millimeter 1.5 and so on but it's recommended that you use one millimeter for hair growth to clean your derma stamp i have made a dedicated video for that you can find it over on my feed and then you can also find the derma stamp over on my amazon storefront which is linked in my bio and after derma stamping it helps absorb the product that you're going to be applying after which is why i'm using the living proof scalp care density serum which stimulates hair growth and it also prevents grays after i apply the serum i use my nails to really work the product in to my scalp giving myself a light massage and if you don't have nails you want to get yourself a scalp massager which i also have linked in my bio for the days that i don't have any nails i also use my scalp massager for the days that i exfoliate my scalp in the shower that's my day 85 update i will see you guys in my next video